Hi, Brad Weidenbender here. I'm a product manager for Advanced Cluster Management. That's ACM or Rackham. Uh, we're focusing on edge and scale use cases for ACM here today. You can reach me with any feedback at bradman at redhat.com. That's Brad with two Ds, M-I-N at redhat.com. Regarding scale to date, we have a single ACM scale validated in Red Hat Labs at 3,500 single node open shift referred to as SNOW, and we're using distributed unit or DU profiles via zero touch provisioning model. These DU telco ran workloads are configured and employed by ACM governance risk and compliance pillar with OCP OpenShift container platform operators and components where ACM leverages declarative GitOps style policy to combine and, and deploy items such as the topology where lifecycle manager, the SRIOV precision time protocol, node tuning operator, even newer things like the image-based upgrade. These are all part of the DU profile for low, rate and low latency RAN workloads and compute constrained environments. As part of an ACM scale enabler series, we'd like to introduce the multi-cluster global hub operator. That's the ACM workload scale enabler in demo video one. Uh, I'd like to introduce some of the key engineers working on this initiative, Joy Deep. He's providing architectural guidance we have Chun Lin, not here today, providing the actual multi-cluster global hub operator, and Jorge providing the global search integration, along with Kashif, who works with Red Hat Telco customers. Now I'd like to hand off to Kashif as he has a question to help us better understand the telco industry scale needs. Thank you, Brad. Hey, Joy Deep, I got a very important question to ask of you. As we move forward with Open RAN, Cloud RAN, multi access edge compute, and other edge deployments, we are now faced with placing Kubernetes cloud-based platform across the whole telco infrastructure instead of being confined to a few data centers that have traditionally been the case. So now that the scale of cloud platform is reaching tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of Kubernetes clusters for a lot of our telco customers, how can the Red Hat solution with ACM manage such scaled nationwide telco cloud infrastructure? Perfect, perfect question, Kalsif. So uh, the, let's let's look at the picture that Jorge is showing. Uh, each of the, first of all, look at the boxes at the, at the bottom layer. We have ACM hubs, we have four ACM hubs in this picture, and each of the ACM hubs has the capability that Brad already mentioned, right? So these ACM hubs are as it is, and then the architecture that we are foreseeing for these large scale environments, Kalsif, that you mentioned, is that we'll have a ACM global hub, a hierarchical structure, a ACM global hub managing all of these ACM hubs, right? Which allows us to manage and observe from a single point. Now, let's let's take these words uh, separately. So uh, the ACM global hub conceptually <clears throat> has two different parts. There's an ACM, and there is some other global hub related code now what what the acm at the global hub level is doing is it's importing these acm hubs below right and so this acm hub allows you to manage these let's say these local or regional or however you call it these four acm hubs that are below right so you know it's business as usual it's acm management as usual from a single point and then the other code that's running which is uh, uh, running at the global hub is bringing all the data regarding today. Uh, by 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 the end of two weeks, we'll have all the data regarding clusters and policies up there at the global hub level, and then we can aggregate and analyze that data, right? And what we additionally do is, which which Jorge will talk about right away, is that we we have the global search capability using which you can look for anything in your enterprise all from that single point of the acm global hub does that make sense kashif that makes absolute sense um Perfect. from a scale right. perspective right right and and there, there are a few other components here uh grafana postgres manager kafka let's not go into the details of that Suffice, suffice to say what Brad already mentioned, in the ACM Global Hub, there is a multi-cluster global hub operator, which is shown as a hub manager here, which manages this whole uh, deployment. Having said that, Jorge, why don't you pick up and show what you got? 
what's uh, you you've got a setup going right thanks jaydeep yep so let me switch to the right uh, slide here so in lab i uh, deployed an environment with six uh clusters just to show uh, how this will work so this is the topology of my clusters i have one that it's the global hub that's mostly what we will be looking at and it is managing two whole acm hubs a and b and those as well are managing a managed cluster so i for simplicity of the of the environment i only deployed the six clusters but know that scalability you can scale uh, you can manage up to 3000 clusters on on each of the managed hubs so it will scale uh very well so so this is how i set it up i have imported it into my uh cluster so let's look how that that looks so uh, so i have my demo environment here so so i'm gonna start there's two ways where i can show this one is uh we have a grafana dashboard that you can find using the routes on um, multiple global hub so if you look at this grafana route that we create it will show you the two clusters that are connected to the hub and how they are connected now there's managed cluster demo managed a1 is connected to the hub a which is connected to the hub so this is one way to see the the clusters. Another way would be using inventory search. So if I go to the ACM global search view and I search for time cluster, we can see a list of all the clusters in my topology at the global level. You can see uh, what uh, hub is managing each of the clusters. So again, looking at the demo managed A1, it is managed by the hub A1. So you can kind of visualize that topology and and see all your clusters. In so let's move back to the presentation. Uh, Fantastic, Jorge. If you can, if you can keep keep back, go back to your uh, demo once again the the uh, the search view i would like to mention one point to kashif here so kashif in the view that hore is showing see the demo hub a is being managed by the global hub the demo hub b is being managed by the global hub so that was what we were referring to earlier is that there is a hub sitting at the acm global hub level which is managing these global hubs right and this allows us to use normal ACM mechanisms, let's say, to push a policy from the global hub, blast it to everybody or blast it to whatever surface area we want to, or to create clusters in under whichever hub we want to and so on and so forth, right? And the other part, of course, that Jorge is showing that information is bubbling up at the top, which we can see, right? So you have a large fleet and you can see. And, and now, Jorge, take us back to the uh, slide that you were showing, fantastic. And as Jorge mentioned, each of these ACM hubs can take 3,000, 3,500 SNOs. Uh, and if if they are non-SNOs, then obviously the number changes. Kashif, I think you will love this picture because this is a telco picture, right? So, uh, so what what we are showing here, I guess, is that uh, the entire uh, breadth of telco, right? We have the uh, the core infrastructure. We have the near edge, we have the far edge, including the VDUs, uh, and then, then we are also showing the VCUs and the MEC, and everywhere, all of these, these are, wherever we are going to have Kubernetes-based clusters, they could all be managed by the ACM hubs located at different areas, and we land up with multiple ACM hubs, which are in turn managed by a global, uh, uh, ACM multi-cluster global hub, right? This does does this fit your Kashif? I mean, you you probably know much more about these terms and UPF and MEC, and you probably know much more than I do. But does this first no. was the ACM view, and this is the telco view. How ACM fits into telco? Does this match your 
thought process. This is phenomenal. Um, by looking at this picture, uh, what I can I can see is whether you use a centralized RAN architecture or a distributed RAN architecture, you do DU pooling or you have DU at the, at the cell site, you can have a separate ACM instance managing that and scaling individually to match your needs based upon the region. And you can have separate ACM instances for your 5G core, for your multi-access edge compute, for all, for all the edge applications to do a local breakout or process the applications uh, closer to the subscriber edge. And you can deploy all of this infrastructure on physical on physical infrastructure, virtual, edge yes. cloud, yes. private cloud. And you are still, as you said, you are bubbling up to a single multi-cluster global hub. So this is phenomenal. And I believe this can scale uh, to what our customers are looking for uh, with the ACM based solution. Fantastic, yes, fantastic. And uh, so it's uh, you, no matter total hybrid cloud experience and the, then the way to manage it is always uniform. Fantastic. And and globally, Hore, if we uh, go on to the next one, I guess that it's pretty simple. So if you if you have global presence, then somewhere you will have the multi-cluster global hub and ACMs will be present in the localized regions, wherever it makes sense to, uh, to be there. And you're off to the races from here, right? Hore, what do we have next? So next, uh, we have the, so let's summarize this video for now. Uh, in this video, we talk about you know, the overview of Global Hub. We show a demo of the small topology where, where we can see all that uh, hub, all the cluster connected to a global hub. And we talk about Telco. Now in the next video in the series, we will be focusing more on the global inventory search, which is the search view I showed uh, with the clusters, but it's way more powerful. You can see all the resources from all your clusters in one centralized place. So we'll be talking a lot more about that and how to uh, visualize resources in your clusters in a global way. Fantastic. Perfect. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you all, team.